So I had to like try to bring it all the way down to only ten pictures. It's, yeah. just, it's, just, it's a lot of work. <laughs> but uh each and every last one of these definitely does tell a story of what home is to me and um just different thing that I see and that I I see all the time. This photo right here, these bottles was laid out because a young kid actually got killed. He probably was like twenty ish. So around my like my age group. And it's all these bottles laid out, and each time I would go by, I would see that the bottles would just expand more and more. People, every time somebody drinking and partying, they, they make sure they go and drop the bottles off for him, like they uh, laying them out in his honor. So this is common. This is all the time. And it has a lot to do with the way things are out here. It's, it's a lot of poverty out here. And so with poverty, you got a lot of crimes. You got a lot of black-on-black -black crimes. You got a lot of... A lot of all that, a lot of kids is just dying young, getting killed, and we're just killing each other. You got one end of it, it's like, you know, you, you, a lot of times, like with the guys, they end up being the ones that's selling the drugs and stuff like that, but a lot of times with the females, they're usually more the ones that's the, actually, that's the addicts. My mother, actually, my biological mother, she was into drugs, and she lived a provocative life. And um, one unfortunate day, she got like in, like uh, knocked into concussion, and she actually she got raped, and then she had got HIV, and so so it's always been like living in this trap, and it's like that I've been born into, and uh, no matter how I try, it's always ways that it has affected me. This one right here, I remember being around steps just like those. They might not even be your steps, though. You <laughs> just said there's just a few people you know just sitting there posted on these steps, like just doing whatever, <laughs> sitting on those steps. It's uh, okay. yeah, it rang back to some good times. <laughs> My little homie, uh, nah, I was in a relationship, and uh, me, me and her son had a good bond. So every chance I get, even though like we're not really together anymore, but. I still, you know, try to go see him. And so this day I went and I took him out for the whole day. I went out and got him some boots. I took him to the mall and took him to the movies. I took this picture because when we was at the mall, I told him, I said, no, before we even got to the mall, I was like, yo, we're going to have so much fun. You're going to be tired when you go back in. You're going to just go to sleep. So he didn't even make it to the back to the house. He fell asleep on a bus on the way back. <laughs> so I just took this picture, this little quick picture, and it was it was a peaceful moment. It's a photo I took, and the photo, it basically has a sign, house for rent. I want to be able to own a house. Because even, you know, it is good landlords, but then it is landlords that's just like, just because they're in the hood, they'll leave your houses in terrible conditions. Like, with kids, like, they don't come out when you really need them, and you'll have water leaking everywhere, or like uh, rats bed bugs, a ton of roaches, but because of where they at, you know, they ought to get what they can get, so a lot of times they just put up with it. As a people, I think we all still have like a lot, a lot more to go. And it's hard because some people, it's like they just stuck in a circumstances that it's like they can't get out of, or like they don't want to hope, or it's like they tired of like just thinking that, you know, it's only but so many times you could just tell a person, like, oh, it's going to get better. And then how do you tell them that when they just lost somebody? You know, they just lost somebody to prison. They just lost their mother. Or these young kids out here that, like, their mother and their father, they're not around. Their mom is on drugs. They're not here. So they got to fend for themselves, and it's, it gets real crazy out here. So, you know, I just always still keep hope because it's like without it then you really just stuck at nothing. And I love it, I'm gonna take the good with the bad and I'm gonna keep it moving.